Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying so far. We're here at the uh, the end of this playthrough. Whether or not that'll happen in this VOD for you people watching on YouTube, who knows? But if you're watching on Twitch now, this is where it ends. <laughs> so I went through the quest lists um, just to double check that I got everything. And yeah, I mean shrine quests. Whilst I've done all the shrines, annoyingly enough, the quest list isn't complete. But I just had to go around and talk to certain people. Which, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of wish the moment you did it, it would just register the fact that the quest is done, but, eh, it's fine. So we've got a few to go to. One of them is just here. And then, um, there's a few others. There's gonna be one in Hateno, and I believe there's a few in the desert. I got the definitive list here, but otherwise, it is done. <laughs> hey, Messiah, hello, how's it going? I'll collect what I need to collect, and then we'll see how we are. There's stuff that I want to do after Ganon, so... It's not just going to be that. Doing good, how's my diet? Yeah, I mean... Just, just work. Not a whole lot else. Just really looking forward to tomorrow. Just got some uh, groceries after work and then went and got some beef dumplings for dinner. Oh, good. <laughs> With the old Wagyu beef. I just find it funny how Australians say that word. Wagyu! <laughs> yeah, just boring adult stuff. Except the dumplings, they were good. Has the, uh, the illness completely subsided now? That's where I was supposed to go, that hill. I just want to talk to Cassia, but it's possible that I climbed up and didn't. Uh. Okay, it's fine. So happy it's gone the last weekend. It was horrible. Yeah, I bet. 
Yeah, it's just, cool. let's hear it. We already know what it is. And do you eat any particular food when you're sick? Do you have like a go-to to make you feel better? Mm. I mean, yeah, when I feel like I'm gonna get sick, I just drink a lot of tea. But when I'm sick, I mean... I know the soup thing is a bit of cliche, but like a noodle soup is always good for me. Okay, so that was that one. Okay, I'm gonna just find this out. That's desert, that's desert. That is New Hatino. This is New Hatino. That is New Hatino. So I got three at Hatino. Alright, we're going to Hatino first. Or... No, Hatina's further away. Oh. He had no food for almost three days straight. Oh, crap. I just crashed my bike. Into what? Oh, this? this? Wait, what did I crash my bike into? What made me... I wasn't paying attention. I thought it was fine. Anyway, that's three motorcycle crashes all up. It's fine. See, we only had water and tea. Jeez. Yeah, that sucks. But it was one of those things where it was like, you felt drained, too drained to eat, but then you were feeling drained because you hadn't eaten. hungry at all, huh? <laughs> Body was full of that, mate. Ah, gotcha. It's been a while since I've been really, really sick. I don't get sick often, but when I do, it hits pretty heavy. Must have sucked, but a lot of time. walking on eggshells a little because I don't want to get sick. It's like, of all the times to get sick, this would be the worst time because the game is out tomorrow. It would suck if I woke up tomorrow and just was sick. me, I hope I get the shipping notification for the game tonight. Still haven't gotten it. Please don't. Well, I haven't gone out today, so it's it's one of those it's one of those things where if I'm going to get sick, 
it's not like I can do anything about it because it would have happened a couple days ago. Because that's how illness works. It's not like I wake up and it's because I've gotten sick on the day. It's because I would have gotten sick prior to that. So it's already, uh, yeah, damage has been done if I am going to be sick tomorrow. Oops, turned the wrong way. Did I? Hang on. Yeah, I did. So I guess, yeah, there's no sense stressing over it. Just taking preventative measures isn't gonna do anything right now. Close. I just hope that they rethink how these shrine quests work. Assuming, well, they might not even be shrine quests, but even though I've completed the shrine, the fact that I have to go talk and get the quest, I don't know. That's would have been cool for it just to pop up, even though I've done the shrine and not talk to the person. That's fine. Gives me something to do. So I don't really want to fight Ganon in the first, say, half hour of this. If not hour. Why does this look really... What is with... The brightness right now. Is this just me or is this like insanely bright? Like, I've heard a bloom, but man. The screen was practically completely white. Is it really? Where am I right now? Maybe because it's nighttime here, but I just feel extra sensitive to this right now. Okay, there we go. It's kind of. these come from. Some of these rocks definitely just magically appear. Just to make sure. Okay, so one of them is at the Karakara Bazaar. Okay. And the other one is at. Uh... 
The guard at the northwest exit of the town. Okay. So I gotta get snacks. <laughs> it kind of slipped my mind. I was just getting the stuff for day-to-day -day things, and the snacks weren't particularly. Well, what they had wasn't what I wanted, so I gotta probably just go tomorrow. Okay, so who is it here? It's... Oh. This person. That I didn't talk to because... They were up here. And I can't talk to because that's where they sleep. Now, see, this is- I think this is fine here. I would not have the guts to sleep up here. Like, are you insane? What if you just fall forward? <laughs> You're gonna just get hospitalized. There's no railing. If you had railing, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't- I don't care what you have to say, just give me the quest, that's it. That's all. Just, that's- that's what I'm here for. Just a little... tick. A little tick. It's off the list. So it said guard at the northwest corner. Okay. Guess I gotta dress up again. I can't pick up any more clothing items. My clothing inventory is full. Wait, what's the Gerudo outfit? No, guard at the northwest corner. Yeah, I find it a bit weird that there's a limit. The person we're talking to is Lane. Tomorrow, during the day, I'm just staying off, uh, all websites. <laughs> oh, 
pretty much. I just don't, I don't want to hear anything. It's gonna be a day of just... Drill down, get my work done, it's just like... I'm gonna... I mean, I already focus pretty hard, but you know, it's just... Sometimes I'll take like a breather and read something for five minutes. I won't even be doing that this time. <laughs> it's just... Get my stuff done. good you can say so far yeah i mean i i imagine that even if it wasn't up to expectation it would still be a good game so it's pretty safe to say Also, put this in this but I'll put it here. So there's no, like, confusion. There. <laughs> it's like a countdown thing for tomorrow. Time zones are annoying, but uh, that takes the time zone stuff out of the equation. You're not very far into the game. Take your time and enjoy everything. That's fair. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to play it like I played this one, so it's going to be different. I'll probably take my time a bit too. be binging it a little bit though the first few days. going it doesn't go any further it just auto turned there your first day. Well, I won't be- I won't be playing this during the day my time, because during the day my time on Saturday, it's, it's Mother's Day, so I won't be playing during the day my time. And then I'll be playing again the Saturday evening for me, so. By binge, I mean just, like, go full, uh, night out hours slash Uh, well, I forget what word I was going to say, but you know. I wouldn't call it sleep deprivation, because I'm going to get my, my sleep. But, yeah. Not normal hours.
had two days head start, but you mostly explore the map. I mean, I'm probably going to do the same thing. The thing is, even with the two-day head start, I could go, I could very well go in a different direction. And that would already be like, okay, it's not what you did. I mean, I assume there's going to be an initial area that you have to clear, kind of like this game. And then after that, it's like you do what you want, so... Oh, that almost hit. <laughs> Did only a handful of quests so far. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how I'm going to do a quest. I mean, I've, I've gotten all the quests here, but if you look at just the variety of them, uh, hopefully they improve the variety. I've, I've cleaned all responsibility from an adult perspective this weekend. So, I can go full nerd mode. <laughs> Just... Don't focus on anything else except playing the game. And then getting some sleep and then playing the game again. a humongous bumblebee on your window. How big? In Australia we have the small bees. The European ones. However, in the, uh, the little southern island state that's off the mainland, they have the native bees, which are bumblebees, big ones. And I went there on a trip and just fucking got the jump scare of my life when one of these things that I had never seen in my life flew past me. Like, pretty much straight at my head. Just this this thing that looked like a golf ball, but it was dark. <laughs> just scared the absolute crap out of me. But they are they are very docile and not aggressive at all, so... The little, the little ones we have here on the mainland, they're way more aggressive, and yeah. But, uh, it was, it was an experience. You like bumblebees, they're cute. Well, I've never seen one for more than three seconds, I guess. I've just seen it as this blur that's heading towards my face, so I, I can't say for sure if I agree.
Okay, so that's all that's left is to pick up the shrine quests from around Hatena, and then we're good. I don't know what the what it would have been saying as it flew past me, but I don't think it would have been what's up. It was also very early in the morning. I'd gotten up. Just having my coffee, walking around. And then this thing just flies at my face. to have refueled but game was like nope here have two sets of enemies at once because the player must be challenged if the player is not fighting every two minutes it is not a challenge i would be afraid to see what would happen if a bee would get caffeinated because we're talking about a human do dose of caffeine. The effect that it would have on a tiny creature like that. Even the sip. Is that NPC just afraid of a goat? Saw that NPC. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm crashing the motorcycle way too much today. I've had more crashes today than the rest of uh, the time I've had the motorbike combined. Alright, that's four. super bee, but would it affect the bee's state of mind? Like... Would they become more aggressive as a result? It's almost like the bee's drunk, except the bee is drunk on caffeine. So there's one in this shack, apparently. Oh. Okay, statue. Done. the next one. It's that it's the spring of wisdom I need to talk to a farmer at Hatena. Okay. And then the last one is where the Hinox brothers are. So that's fine. topic of bees, I keep being told. 
because bees produce honey, so this is like the segue. I keep being told the next time I do the cheese and neat thing to try having honey with cheese. I'm like, honey with cheese, hmm. Do it. Is it good? Do I have to get like a particular kind of cheese or is it just any cheese in general? I would imagine it would have to be a particular kind. Hey. What the f- did this person just appear in front of me? They went in front of me a second ago. Am I that blind? Probably not any cheese and honey. I may have to do some research on it. Alright, I'm looking... Farmer, huh? I mean, the farmers are all up here. What's the name of the farmer I'm looking for? Meda. So who's this farmer then? You have to go in some work for a while. No, it's all good. You do you. Just gotta finish collecting these last two quests and then I guess Ganon prep work, so. Who else is a farmer here? I thought it would have been one of those two. Apparently during the daytime can be found directly ac across the dye shop. Huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, just hand over the quest. I think I have to do a better job at talking to NPCs in the new game. Just to avoid this, more or less, just quests that I've done, just completing the actual objective doesn't get it registered. That's, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, now I need to head to the Hinox Twins. Not twins, triplets, which should be up here. I just gotta read this tablet, so. And then that's all the quests acquired. And we're good. I double checked the list of uh, side quests, and side quests are all done. So there's no need to grab anything else from there.
this is the way up, right? Yes. Okay. Keep heading in that direction. It's just right next to the shrine. See, particularly in cases like this, I feel like it should just give me the shrine, the quest, even though I've solved it. Without reading the, the thing that gives you it. Anyway. <laughs> That's it. Caught it. Okay. That's all shrine quests acquired and done. Now to prepare for the fight. whole lot of prep work, just a little bit. Okay, let me just... I want to say something. 23, okay. I was just taking an inventory of how many luminous stones I had, because I can trade them for diamonds. Get a bit more money, but I think I'm okay. Trying not to crash. I'm just gonna sell it back to him. <laughs> just good way to make profit out of beetles.
Yeah, yeah. Yay! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Wait, really? Kind of surprised. That hasn't respawned yet. Okay. Oh, wait, I should refuel before I go. I got a choir. It's just, I think, ancient arrow wise, I only have twenty five, which we think is enough, but. I'm going to be going through the front. Making one more trip to a color lab. I didn't have the money yesterday, so that's why I didn't do it yesterday. Gonna make a stop in this forest as well to collect some uh, hardy radish. Yeah. 
Yeah. There we go. This is a good forest. What's that? <laughs> it looked like something spawned right there. I couldn't see what it was. It just something got hit. I have to look that look at that later, but that was some jank. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm hoping that for all time's sake there's one more glitch before the end of the game. That's everything. It's a good forest. Yeah, once I've gotten the ancient arrows, I think that that's it. That's the prep work I wanted to do. I should have enough normal arrows, you would think. I just realized I haven't died in the last few days as well. <laughs> the death count has kind of come to a stop. And it's not like I haven't been fighting or anything. I've been fighting. Pretty much since Trial of the Sword was done, I haven't died.
think we're almost out of fuel, yeah. I might impose a rule for Ganon. The rule being I'm not allowed to lose the shield. The sword is like, I don't technically lose it, it just loses power. But the shield I'm not allowed to let it shatter. Because we have to end on this shield. It's, it's a must. Just gonna sell it. I'm gonna have a better buff than that. Okay. What? Where are your arrows? How have you not restocked your arrows? Definitely let another day pass. <laughs> enough time has passed for him to forget that I just gave him a beetle, but not enough time has passed to restock your arrows. So. I'll definitely stop for that. Making a pit stop here, because arrows. What? You, even you haven't replenished your arrows? What is going on?
I guess they take longer than I thought. Keep going. I just want to buy some more arrows so then I don't lose some when I convert them over to ancient arrows, but guess not. Still gonna check that stable. timing Yay. love is the answer what was he about to say okay <laughs> what is going on why hang on can i find an answer oh yeah okay it's gonna be a while fine I honestly thought I could get more arrows. I made it morning, so I figured another day, yeah. Oh well. the building <laughs> what if that's canonically what happened to this building like why it's damaged over here <sighs> that's funny Okay, now the other thing I'm gonna do, you might call this unnecessary. But I'm getting fresh bows. And that's it. Now I, I can rely on the fact that these are... Maximum durability on each. Okay.
Had Tears of the Kingdom has a durability meter. You hate not knowing if this stuff is near uselessness. Yeah, I mean, it has like a, a I think down to the last percent, 10%, I would imagine. But it would be nice to know. Because, like, if it's at 11%, it's just it's practically gone at that point. Okay, let's do the cooking now. But hey, confirm me. Uh, it lets you know three hits before it's dead. Yeah, that, I question that use. Okay, hold on. Before I do, let's save. Just in case this isn't the one that I'm after. It should be. one. Okay. We do the defense equivalent as well. my inventory is going to become it's going to become like stamina and uh heart stuff pretty much See how this goes. This is me collecting these things for the entirety of the game in preparation. these just in the lead up. I think 15 minutes of movement should be enough just to get there once we hit castle grounds. Okay. Okay. 
It'll come in handy. Anyway. How are we looking? Four more meals. Okay. Stamina. Should do. Well. Let's go. Should get the bot to uh to paste this message over and over again. But I'll do it periodically. Made a, a countdown thingy for tomorrow. So then you know when I plan to start. Assuming you wanna watch. Nothing left to, left to do except go there. I'll pop in on Beetle one more time here, but it looks like the arrow stocks aren't going to get replaced. Plus, I need a refuel anyway. Yeah, that's a disappointment. Wait, the motorcycle noise is 10 out of 10 for sleeping. <laughs> it provides a good form of white noise. Binaural motorcycle. Oh, well, that'll be over soon. It's heading to the castle now. Let's hope there's less of these starters in the new game.
You would assume this motorcycle has some form of metals on it, you know? Doesn't get struck by lightning. And I mean, if we take the law of si Skyward Sword, wouldn't we be able to put our sword to the sky and then absorb the lightning without being harmed? Yeah. Not that it matters too much, but I'll still pick it up. I may as well refuel while I got off the motorcycle. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I hit him or did I hit something else? I couldn't see there for a sec. I looked away and then I just heard more sounds of damage. Go into that bridge over there and we'll start from there. following it. Circle of Hell is in the distance. This is, uh, yeah, finale, I guess. Or at least the Ganon part of it. It's not like I'm not gonna do stuff after this. Alright, let's go.
Guess not. Gave up on me. Hey, Colin. Good morning. Yes. Last day before the game release. And it's finale time. Over there. How's the day? Not a long day of work, but really looking forward to tomorrow. easily gone up the the back way but it's a bit more cinematic and fitting we're going through the front to get the parries right. Careful. That one's not worth going for, just run past it. Slag. Having these things shooting me as I storm the castle. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Rampage. I slag. Ah! 
Yeah, I need to get these parries correct. Why does it why does it do that? Like why is it so janky? A deflect, if you hear the sound, it should just be a deflect. Okay, I'm wasting my time on this one. I just wanted Daruk's ability to go on cooldown, so I got the three charges again. That's not annoying at all. This is kind of annoying because I want to climb, but... Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's not obnoxious at all. I have to get rid of this one at the very least.
that's fine. Everything's on the control. Rivali's Gale is now ready. So, I mean, this is technically an entry, but not the entry I want to go through. Because, you know, we're being cinematic here. Yeah. Oops. How? Oh. Why is it, why do I keep missing this thing? There we go. Jeez. That's kind of annoying. This is it. What? I'm sorry, but my power isn't strong enough. I can't hold.
go. Let's go. Attack buff up. Very quickly. Thank you. Yeah, that was one hit. Because I had to take the photo. Yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. One hit takes away 15 hearts, kind of nuts. These are doing nothing. I'm trying to pick at it. recovery. Okay. Eat again. That's not enough hearts to survive a hit. confident in losing the shield. Or oh, keeping the shield, let's just say. Whoops.
This is such horseshit. Like the deflect mechanic. Still not done. But see, when you compare this to what I had to go through in Trial of the Sword, it's, it's not as difficult. Or, uh, to acquire the motorcycle, the bus for there. This is a very cool fight, but it's just... Those other two things I found way more difficult. Not to be cocky, because it's obviously it's not over yet. What? Ganon was born out of a dark past. <laughs> he is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time again. He has given up on reincarnation and assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. Do I need to take a photo of this bar? Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power or all of your memories. But courage need not be removed, for it is never forgotten. Why couldn't this have been a pain, huh? End of the world, but be sure to take a picture. Oh, 
This is bad. I will hold the malice back as much as I can, but my power. Okay. Rain. Attack any glowing points that you see. Let's go. May you be victorious. You can't actually stop time. Hey, Seth, how's it going? You know the view I don't like looking at is this view here of Ganon. <laughs> really? Ravioli. It's working. Hurry, please. So close. Link, look up there. I need more stamina, please. Open your eye, ugly. Okay, I should probably not get cocky about this. Use the updraft, 
What updraft? There's no updraft here. The game is just being jank about it. I even use ravioli. because I remember that it showing the weak spot sooner than what it did, but okay. keeping watch over you all this time I've witnessed your struggles to return to us as well as your trials in battle I always thought no I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Gary. 349 I lost faith in you over these many that's days. the number thank you Link the hero of Hyrule. May I ask, do you really remember me? And why are you standing there without any clothing? All right. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. There's still stuff I'm going to do after. There's an epilogue that I'm going to do. As there's still things to do. So. Not to fear. It's not like I'm going to stop the stream now. Um, there's... There's some stuff we got to resolve before we wrap it up with this. But that's Ganon done, so... Yeah, like, I wasn't expecting to struggle with Ganon at all. Like I said, the, the hardest thing in this game is definitely Trial of the Sword. Close second is, uh, the motorcycle thing. It's not that Ganon isn't a cool fight, it's just... It's not... It's not meant to be extremely tricky. Ah. <sighs> yeah, so this is an improvement over uh, the first time I did this, which is... I beat Ganon... Whilst I did use Tempel, it's still in spirit without armor and three hearts. Like one hit was taking 15 hearts off me, so. And I didn't let him regen much, so that was, that was good. I remember the first time I did this, the fight was 20 minutes, if not longer, because he would just keep 
he just kept regener regenerating. And uh, I just wasn't getting the parries off, so. Yeah, this is uh this has been a lot of fun. Particularly around all the memories of uh whether it was just things happening to me that were funny, the glitches, or just almost bringing the game to the point where it was completely broken. It's just... I was not expecting that of this playthrough. I thought maybe there wasn't going to be much in terms of difference, but big difference. So, just to uh, wrap this bot up, because we're going to take a break for two to five minutes after the credit sequence is done. Uh, yeah, this was this was a lot of fun, and I'll, I'll drop my thoughts about this game while the credits are going, but... This game made me buy a Switch, pretty much. So that, that's, like, the biggest compliment I can throw at was just... Between what the Switch is as a, as a device and the game, the way it was looking, it was something that I had to go day one. And so I think it'll be cool to just experience something similar like that tomorrow so i'm sure this game made a lot of people buy a switch for sure uh it's one of these ones that i wish i could experience again for the first time but it's not to say it's not without its faults in the grand scheme of things it's up there it's not in the top tier for me but it, it's up there it's just not not what I would consider the best of the best, as I've made it apparent throughout the, the playthrough. Between the rain, which is ju it just kind of goes against the point of exploration and just how much it hinders you, and just a few other things that just, it didn't feel completely well-rounded. Um, the Divine Beasts, well, well cool. Uh, once you've done one of them, you've pretty much seen all of them. You know, the, there's no... They were all thematically the same, if that makes sense. Like, the the biome you were in were like, was like this machine thing, and by the time you get to the fourth one, it's just, yeah, I've seen this before. So, hopefully that changes in Tears of the Kingdom. That's one of the things that I think everyone has really, really wanted out of this new game, is just something that feels more like a dungeon. And, you know, there's theme dungeons, it's... It's not just one look for the big events, so... Stuff like Hyrule Castle, but like on a larger scope would be cool to see. But we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. And, uh, yeah, this caps off the long journey of playing through practically every single Zelda game. Um, with the exception of uh, Four Swords. Ventures, whatever the GameCube one was called, so that was uh that was the only one I didn't play just because I don't have access to it. And getting access to it is expensive. So it's not heavy on story anyway. So I didn't feel too bad skipping that one. But maybe one day I'll I'll play it. Um because sometimes what I'll do is just take whatever I I get from Bits, subs, and all that, and just put it towards something I can do on stream. So the latest one I've done is um, I'm modding my Nintendo 64, so then it can do HDMI capture, so we can play some N64 games. Not that I can't do th do that through other means. It's just there's something about holding the original controller and having the console there. And I mean, emulation is good. Emulation is good, but you can't emulate vibes, you know. Not completely. Plus, I'm not doing anything illegal. Like, all these games were played legit, or illegally, quote, I should say, in quotes. <laughs> Calm down, Nintendo lawyers. There's a, there's a physical copy of all these games in front of me. I have them in a stack behind me. <laughs> I was just kidding a little bit there, but there's a little truth to that. I'll get to play Zelda a little bit before you since it's releasing Midnight Local. I mean, I'm playing it after I finish work and have dinner, so it's like 7pm my time, so it's... I've scheduled it at 
whatever the time is now minus two hours so that may or may not be the case i don't know that's that's when i'm playing it tomorrow i will do a tier list of the games as well now that i've, I've gotten through breath of the wild we're gonna exclude tears of the kingdom from that list but i'll i'll go through all the titles i played and i'll rank them in the order that I feel like um, reflects my experiences and my personal tastes. It's not to say oh, I'm saying these are how I think it should be and anyone else that disagrees is wrong, it's more just based on gameplay and memories, I'll, I'll rank them. Yeah, if I wasn't streaming Tears of the Kingdom, I would play it a lot sooner, let's put it that way, but because I'm streaming it, there's not a whole lot of point in me playing it during the day my time. One, because I have work, but even if I didn't, um, there's just... It's very, very quiet during those hours. Like, not a whole lot of people are around. But, uh, well, yeah, it'll unlock digitally in Australia in three hours, so... In about three hours, you're going to get gameplay from Aussies. Guaranteed. Because, uh, yeah, it's midnight on the East Coast here in three hours. So The New Zealanders will be getting it in two hours because they're one hour ahead of us. So it'll be New Zealand first and then um, East Coast Australia. So two hours and three hours. Okay. And now we are caught up. We'll see where this story takes us tomorrow. Oh, I have clothing on. We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta. Looks like it's stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Zelda probably made me put clothes on. His father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. inside the sword she can't hear fear anymore i suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years i'm surprised to admit it but i can accept that <laughs> Oh, 
Master, I deduce there's a 95% chance that this quest is over. Okay. Well, that is uh, that is the playthrough up until Ganon. We're gonna take a short break for two to five minutes, and then we're gonna return with the epilogue of this, which is a bunch of stuff that I need to uh, finish off, which includes uh, upgrading Link to his fullest potential. Now that the game is over, and <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll I'll get all the hearts and all that stuff, so we'll do that in two to five minutes. But this is where this VOD ends if you're watching on YouTube later. Hope you enjoyed, especially if you don't check out the epilogue later. But there'll be a bunch of stuff I'm going to be messing around with then. So I hope you do check it out. But otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Consider doing that algorithm fun stuff to support. All right, and uh, I'll see you for Tears of the Kingdom slash this epilogue if you check it out later. Bye, Chip.